<laughs> Stop it, Apu. Get off me. Leave me alone. You're hurting me. <laughs> That's enough, Apu. Oh, I was only playing. Well, go and play somewhere else, or the black elephant will come to get you. And I was just playing, but Mother said that if I didn't stop, the black elephant would come to get me. The black elephant? What's the black elephant? Well, he's big and fierce with tusks the length of a banyan tree and he breathes fire out of his trunk. <laughs> well, let's hope he isn't down at the river. Why is that? He'd spoil our swim. Oh, we're going for a swim. Race you there. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Black elephant indeed. Black elephant? Where? Uh, no, it, it's just... Oh, never mind, Bagheera. We're turtles, Boo. Turtles don't. Run! Nothing on this bone. Ah! Oh! Oh! <coughs> Sorry, Tabaki. I didn't see you there. Watch where you're going in future. Huh? Where are you going? I'm trying to get away from the black elephant. I was going for a swim with Mowgli. He jumped out at us and I ran away and I thought Mowgli was with me, but... But he's still down by the river. Alone. I think so. Unless the black elephant got him. What is this black elephant? He comes to get bad elephant children and anyone else he can get his trunk on and squish them and, and chomp them and... Now, now. Mowgli is a very resourceful little fellow. But just to be certain, I'll go and make sure he's all right. Oh, would you? Hmm. With a bit of luck, I'll soon have a much bigger bone. Man cub sized. Phew, that was close. <laughs> Hello. Don't be frightened. I'm not going to hurt you. We're not frightened of you. It's Jakala. Jakala? <laughs> Well, all right, but how? 
And what has this black elephant got to do with Mowgli? Nothing. I told you, it's probably some childish nonsense. But whatever it was, it means that Apu has left the man cub all alone by the river. If this turns out to be yet another of your fiascos, Tabaki. <laughs> it won't. I I'm sure of it. This time, you'll get your man, cub. <laughs> And you'll reward me with a piece of him? What are you doing? You'll see. Baloo! Huh? It's Mowgli! He's in trouble! What sort of trouble? We were down by the river, and the black elephant jumped out at us. I got away, but Mowgli... Now, Apu, I don't think there's really any such thing as the black elephant. There is! I saw it! And Tabaki believed me! Tabaki? Yes. He said he'd go and help Mowgli while I came to fetch you. Oh, quick, back <laughs> <laughs> for the tricky bit. Uh, don't eat me! Eat you? I couldn't eat anything! My tooth hurts so badly! Open wide! Jakala, keep that mouth of yours wide open. Ready? <laughs> what kind of joke is this? <laughs> I am in your debt. Thank you. For once, Tabaki, you have done well. I told you, didn't I? Dinner on the hoof. I have waited long for this moment, man cub. I shall miss our little encounters. You have proved an elusive target. But this time. Whatever it was, I hope it hasn't done for Mowgli. Thanks, Jakala. If it hadn't been for you. No, Jakala! <laughs> oh, hello there, Baloo. <gasps> for today, thank you, man cub. But come tomorrow. Approach me at your peril. Ugly? Am I dreaming? No, Baloo. It's a long story. And has the black elephant got anything to do with it? <laughs> no, nothing at all. 
Come on, let's get you home. Black elephant. <laughs> That was my lunch! Sorry, Shere Khan. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I... You're about as much use as a half-witted turtle! That's not fair, Shere Khan. Just get out of my sight! If that's how you feel, I'll get out of your sight forever! You're on your own! <sighs> I don't need you! I can look after myself! <laughs> 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 Tabaki looking after himself? This we've got to see. Hmm, let me think. Eat the mango, follow Tabaki. Eat the mango. Sorry, Mowgli. <laughs> I'm going with eat the mango. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that old tiger. Jackal. I'm cunning. I can find my own food. Ugh. Sooner rather than later. <laughs> I just need a plan. Ah, honey! Everything will be fine. You're just a bit out of practice. Never better. Only usually when I see you, you're with Shere Khan. I don't need him. I look after myself now. Oh, who am I fooling? I made a big mistake when I left Shere Khan. How am I going to survive? Don't worry, Tabaki. I'll help you. So, you're a jackal. You know how to hunt, right? Of course. All jackals know how to hunt. Show me how you'd catch something, then. Well, I am a little out of practice. I was with Shere Khan a long time. Just as I thought. We'll start at the beginning, then. First, you've got to be quiet. Quiet. Got it. And you've got to be stealthy. Stealthy, right. And that way, you can get right up close to your prey. Let's move on. You've been quiet, you've been stealthy, and now you're going to trap your prey. Trap it? Right, I can do that. So imagine I'm the prey. In those bushes, there's a big hole in the ground. You've got to drive me into it. Ready? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Mowgli, uh, are you there? Uh, hello, Mowgli. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh Shere Khan, I miss you. Quick, Tabaki, get behind him. Silly me, no Tabaki. 
Hmm, perhaps it's time to review the situation. So, you're hungry, hmm? How about a mango? I don't eat fruit. I'm a jackal, a hunter. Well, if you want to be a hunter, you can't give up at the first setback. Oh, Mowgli's right. You don't want to be Shere Khan's slave again, do you? No, of course not. Give up your independence just because he gives you loads of food? No. All right, let's start again. Hunting for beginners. We'll teach you together, won't we, Baloo? Hmm. Thank you. But no good. Monkeys, no good. Now there's a thought. Off you go, Baloo. <laughs> Let's see how good a hunter you are. Remember, quiet, stealthy. Yes, yes. I'll show you. Just follow and watch. Lead the way. There he is. Do you see him, Tabaki? Tabaki? The thing is, Shere Khan, when I said forever, I only meant temporarily. And anyway, I was joking. It was just a joke, right? A joke between friends. Old friends. Oh, duh. I don't believe it. Shere Khan has replaced me with... with... a rodent. I've got to persuade Shere Khan to take me back. And fast. Oh, think. Think. Oh, what can I give him? Um, something he really wants. Oh, of course. Tabaki! 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 Tabaki, where are you? There you are, Tabaki. What happened? I, I got lost, but I'm ready to try again. All right, but this time, try and keep up. Off you go, Baloo. <laughs> I think I've got the idea now, Mowgli. <laughs> Let me take the lead and you can see how I'm doing. All right, go ahead. Follow me. I know a shortcut. <laughs> Look, you'll be able to see Baloo coming. That's not Baloo. That's Shere Khan! <laughs> oh! Oh! See? You need me, not that walking cactus. I brought you the man-cub. Too late, Tabaki. I'm with Shere Khan now. Don't listen to her, Master. Go away, Tabaki. Look what you've done, you fools! Either of you want to stay with me, bring the man-cub back! <laughs> they still haven't caught me. What? They didn't tell me they'd change the game. You left him, you lost him. It's your own fault. <laughs> anyway, I'll be the one to bring back the man cub. <laughs> I don't see how you're going the wrong way. Never heard of shortcuts. I'm not finished yet! <laughs> oh. Baloo! Now I'm really lost. You'll never catch the man cub. You can't even catch me! The man cub is mine now. <laughs> oh, where's the man cub gone? At least I'm rid of that interfering porcupine. Huh? What if she toadies to Shere Khan and I'm not there? <laughs> Master, I'm back. It's me, Tabaki, your old friend. Ah, alone. Master, Master. Oh, it's you. Yes, Master, I'm back. Without the man-cub. 
Uh, that porcupine messed up everything. I'm much better at hunting now. Mowgli taught me. Let me show you. Hmm. So, let's see what you've learned. Yes, Shere Khan. You're lucky I took you back. I know, Shere Khan. Thank you, Shere Khan. Never mind all that. Just find me some prey and make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Why not? Because the monkeys don't want anybody with them when they have a music party. <laughs> I didn't know you could play so well. It's in my genes. I've always played divinely. But you sing pretty well too. As you play well and I sing pretty well, we could maybe have a music party that really swings too. Excellent idea, except that there needs to be more than two of us. Hello, Mowgli. Hello, Ricky. He's good, isn't he? Yes, but he's Shere Khan's friend and that's not too good. It would only be for the party. He play music with us and that's all. Hello, Tabaki. We're looking for talents like yours to come and make music with us. But no tricks, though. You're Shere Khan's friend and... Oh, he's not my friend. I'm at his service. But for me, music comes first. Come on, then. Let's make the music. What's your plan? There isn't one. I'm just going to make some music with them. I hope you're joking. If Shere Khan learns that you're palling up with Mowgli, you'll be in big trouble. He doesn't have to know. I'd be obliged to tell him. Dad, no, uh, but uh, don't say anything. I'll do what's necessary to trap the man cub. You'd better. Hey, why don't we give the others a surprise and go and rehearse a bit further away? Good idea! Where? Between the cold lair and the den, for example. Just next to Shere Khan, then? Oh, yes! That's true. It's not far away. Now, I thought we'd just go over there because the sound's great. It's true that good sound's important, and I know a great place for that. Come on! <gasps> this looks like a good place to rehearse. We just need to clear it up a little. Set a trap for Mowgli. What are you waiting for? It's not the right moment. You see, we've kind of made a truce. A truce? With Mowgli? How would Shere Khan like it if I told him about this musical truce with your new friends? Do you think you're strong enough to lift that rock? Who are you trying to make it fall on? Uh, uh no. Hmm. That's better. My back was itching, but now you're here. Uh, uh, oh, you two know how to sing, don't you? How about joining Mowgli's group? Mowgli's forming a group? Sing? Yeah, why not? So, shall we give it a try, all together? Snakes and bears are the same, they say, doing nothing but lend the sun they lay, and despite their enormous ears, an elephant can hardly hear. All I need is me. Not only monkeys know how to party. We can laugh and sing so sweet. Or move our heads and tap our feet. Not only monkeys know how to party. They say only monkeys know how to swing. But they've got rhythm in their blood. They're for music. They're the kings. The other animals aren't as good. But I tell you this, I don't agree. Because when we move, 
As it's good. Well, we want to go too. There's no way we're going to get mixed up with a load of animals who p play man cub music. That was really good, Bala. And I'm like you. I've no voice left. Everybody's gone, but shall we do another one? It was really great, and I'm all in. We can't sing anymore. Shere Khan is not a patient tiger, so if I tell him that you're planning music with the man cub instead of bringing him to the den... Don't talk nonsense! My plan will bear its fruits. i move our heads and tap our feet. Not only monkeys know how to party. And I've had another idea. You go and see Mowgli and tell him. We've already got one song, but it would be good to have another. Hey, Mowgli, did you know that they're talking about you everywhere, even on the other side of the mountain? What do you mean? You didn't notice, but there were some mountain birds when you were singing, and they loved it. Now they've prepared a feast for you, so that you'll go and sing over there. Sure they have. Don't believe me, then. But when you've a talent like yours, well... Very quickly, everyone starts talking about you. What do you think? My arms are like jelly. I don't think it'll be possible. It would be a shame to miss that, though. Besides, you and I could just go together. They'd love it. It's true that it's a good opportunity. Besides, I love singing. I'll go and represent our group. I'll tell you about it and we can all go later. Come on, come on, come on! I'm not going to let you go on your own. You need a good rhythm section. No, but if you're tired, come another time. Sure, but it was me who put the group together, along with Mowgli, who helped me a bit. You're right, Ricky. You mustn't let me have all the glory. Come on! The vain little thing fell into such an obvious trap. We'll just have to wait for him at the bottom of the mountain. Hello, man cub. Would you like to have a little jam session with us? I thought you just wanted to be with other monkeys. It was Masha who didn't want you, but not us. We do. They change their minds like they change bananas. We're not at their beck and call. It's mainly because musically, they are rather primitive. Ooh, is that primitive? <laughs> You've succeeded for once, Tabaki. I thought music came first for you. That's what I thought too. Uh. Ah! Well, man cub, are you ready for your last? Concerts. Ah. Oh, ow, ow, stupid. What? Go on, Ricky. Show him what you can do with your drumsticks. Stop! We've got to rehearse for the mountain audience that's waiting for us. Kalu lied. There's no one waiting. <gasps> I knew that all that was a trap. I was pretending right from the beginning, of course. You don't fool Ricky Ticky Tavi that easily. Does that mean that what we do is no good? You're really great, and you're really strong, too. And now Marsha's changed her mind and wants to know if you'd like to have a big party together. Party time in the jungle. All good friends just having fun. Do up, do up, do up, do up. Play that music in the sun. Party time in the jungle. Get together and stamp your 